Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Monsters of Etheria podcast. I'm your host, Shadow Owl. Today, we'll be covering monsters, lore, fan suggestions, and then I'll talk about what's coming up next week. Um, not really going to edit out the coughs this time. You're going to see that I'm still sick. Didn't help. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is so sorry. I gotta keep it all natural, alright? Let's, let's move on along with this. First up is by. <sighs> Hold on. I'm really trying to hold it back. Alright, so. The first monster is called. Well, first monster is by Sneezy, Sneezy Wheels. He made the ghost peppers back then, and this is a bonfire-themed monster. I don't want to say bonfire as much as I want to say burning log. This is going to be a rough episode, I tell you that. <laughs> so, first monster is called kin Kindling. Second monster is called Balefire. Third monster is called Torchwood. I understand the first two names, I mean the first and third name. Bale fire, is that like hay bale fire? Like, as much as the other two seem like actual logs, this one seems like, so it does have like the trunk, on well, kindling does have like the trunk to it, but it more like, like it has like a lamp just like placed inside. Um, yeah, and I don't really see eyes here, I guess the flames could be eyes? I don't know. Um, for bale fire, it has grown a little bit, they're, they're still relatively the same height, um, so it wouldn't be, I guess it wouldn't be that much of a, like, a strength increase. The legs do seem a little bit more bulkier, so it might be a little bit faster. Who knows? It does. It has gained a branch or an arm, so whatever you want to do with that, I guess. And then it mutates in just two torch wood, which is literally a log with like a case around it with a flame. And if you guys know anything about fire, there's obviously two sets of fire on connected from the bottom flame. So there's two fires going on there. The legs are definitely, well, the roots are definitely a lot more thornier, a lot bulkier. So I don't know if you want to make it a defense or a speedster because it definitely has leg power. Um, and there are thorns prickling on the side, so it might be able to uh, harm, like able to do recoil damage to use physical move. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, guys. It's gonna be real rough. Real rough. We're gonna make it through here, right? Alright, so. The next monster is by Sprite Maker. No, I do not want no damn Sprite Cranberry. Alright? And it is Drone. I don't know what the, I don't know what type it is. I don't know the background to it is. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much clueless on this. Uh, either that's the Yang or the Yang symbol, but it's one of that of the one of the duels. So I'm guessing there is a twin that goes with it. All right, all right, good stuff, good stuff. Um, the arms look like they're like jet arms. I don't want to say jet arms, but like, yeah, I want to say jet arms. It has like four jet arms, and then like. There are four jet arms, and then it's like, I'm really sorry. The four jet arms, and then you got that flab of skin or something like that. The tail doesn't look like it's an actual tail. It looks like it's just flames. Um, it has a helmet, you know, or it's actual part of its body, you know. I don't know. This, is, this creature is weird. I'm, it's real weird. All right, so I don't, I don't do this much, but the next monster is not a drawing. It is a model itself. Um, I actually was, I actually did like this. It is called Drillant, and it is by Squib. So, the three typing possibilities that this, that Drillant could have is Terra Bug, Metal Bug, or Terra Metal. The most likely choice would be, you know, Terra Bug. Um, so the bottom one is the normal, and then the top is the exotic. So... Drillant is meant to, so Drillant has two purposes. Drillant is used for construction, as you can tell, it's wearing its little construction hat. But Drillant is used to build the homes for the Ethereum citizens. 
and it is also used for excavation. So pretty much construction and excavation. Real nice, you're real nice. Uh, it, it, it does use its valves, its drill, you know, to drill into things. Real, real creative. Alright, alright, so we're moving along here. Moving, because we have a lot of monsters to cover. So, we're gonna... Move it along. Move it along. Alright, alright. So, this monster... These set of monsters are by Hybrid Gems. Alright, so... The order is, oh jeez, let's see if I can remember their damn names. I know the, oh, damn it, give me, give me one moment so I can remember what the hell their names are. Uh, uh, the names are Pyrith, Py Pyrith, Forith, Hydrith, and Aerith. That's from left to right. Alright, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Um, so their typings are fire, grass, water, and wind. Um, as a possible second choice, they might be aether types, you know, you know, possible second choice. So, so they are, from my perspective, they would be like, so you know how Pokemon had its duos and trios and things like that? So this would be like a legendary quadruplet. That they would all be spawnable. They would all spawn on the map. You'd catch them all both. Um, so I actually, actually, am proud about this. I, because I somewhat contributed to this. I didn't contribute to the design or anything like that. But I uh, talked to Hydro Gem, Hybrid Gems. My bad, my bad. Don't kill me. I talked to Hybrid Gems, and I was allowed to come up with the lore for this monster. Um, so the first, the lore that we ended up going with is. They all used to be one being, and you know, like one big monster, and the for and that big monster was forced to split into you know several forms, which would be these four monsters. All right, all right. Um, so they are used to protect. They aren't. They they don't really fight each other. So, for instance, like if Hydrith would have would be like defeated by Forith. The ocean would be, would, you know, swallow up the land because the ocean would go out of control and it would kill all life on and land. You know, good stuff, good stuff. Alright, alright. So, here's some more backstory that I uh, came up with. So... The single monster was ordered to protect life on Etheria. Maintain- oh, oh. My bad. I should show you the, um, what the monster is. So, the monster is known as Elementalos. And I was actually given permission to help take credit for this monster. So I'm taking- help and take partial credit for this monster. I am proud to have helped me with this. Or to have helped with this. Um, so his name is Elementalos. We'll go back to the elements later on, so I just want to get with, done with the lore. So the single monster, also known as Elementalos, was ordered to protect life on Etheria, maintaining the temperature, oceans, nature, and others, when an extraterrestrial species attacked Etheria, similar to the avians, you know, you know, you got a little connection there. This monster was the only thing capable of stopping it. It was an intense battle that lasted 90 straight days. The... The after fighting the outsider, Elemental will use all of its remaining energy to kill slash gay men. If you're uh listening to this and you're trying to demonetize me, <laughs> who am I kidding? I can't even get monetized. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, so like, gay men, the, the invader. I'm making so many sounds this video. I'm, people are just gonna be like, dude, you need to learn how to quiet down a bit. And I'm like, I know, but like, I wanted to keep this video legit. Um, but instead of the monster, well, instead of Elementalos dying, its essence was split up into, uh, four separate entities. That is the, uh, lore we went off of. We went with the, uh, alternate route was, the, the alternate route was when Ethereals freely roamed Etheria, there was little wor to worry about. This caused some of the Ethereals to become bored and start causing chaos. 
a group of dangerous ethereals combine their powers to create the ultimate being known as Elementalos. Capable of destroying every element. This group used the being to go on endless rampages causing death to follow wherever they went. Eventually a group of Draconians were tired were tie that unchecked power and created their own being. Who I really hope if I, I want to talk to hybrid gems on this, I really like. I really want to see this so much. Like, is it because I can finally say, "Hey, man, I helped make a monster." It might be, but like, I want to see it. So I'm gonna really like talk to hybrid gems about it. But anyways, Dracon. Eventually, a group of Draconians were tired of that unchecked power and created their own being. That was purpose with taking down the evil creature. What the Draconians didn't know was that the evil being, also known as Elementalos, couldn't be destroyed. So they were forced to seal its powers away in the source separate bodies. Alright, so let's go back up to the... To the uh, let's, let's get back to the top here. So we have... Uh, starting from the left, we have Pyrath, who I would say is the small weakest, based off the aura, or light bulb. <laughs> now I get it. Why it's... Uh, your light bulb goddess. Please don't tell me I'm wrong later on. But uh, I think Pyrite has a either pickaxe or crossbow on his body. Um, it does have a flame shoulder. Its mass ha it does have a smaller dot and a, and a bigger dot above it. It does seem to have the smallest flame on its head or aura, I guess you would say. And it has the smallest tail. Um. I say I would say it's sort of like Alakazam after Gen One, in which it's a glass cannon. So it'd be a really like physical unit, like a it'd be a fast physical attacker, but it's gonna get wrecked really early on. All right. So <coughs> next to that we have is Forrath. Forrath is a um what they called is a grass. Type. It could be Aether. Um, it has antlers coming out of its head. I'd say Forrest is the second strongest. Um, it does have more of a viney flame off of its head. You know, its mask or head face is fully connected with the, where the eyes would meet. It has a scar on its neck. Its shoulder is more of a shoulder blade, and its arm is more of a shoulder blade, like an arm. Yeah! Does your, does your arm ever look like a shoulder? Mine sure has. Its um arm looks more of like an arm blade, you know? So, I would say it's more based off the physical side in total. Like, it would be a... I'm trying real hard not to cough. It would be... A physical attacker as well as a specialist in physical defense. All right, all right. We move on to Hydrite, who is the Watcher one. Um, I'd say it's the third weakest. Its flame on its head is more wavy than the others. Um, you're gonna you're gonna like what I say for the last one, I guess. You might you might not. Um, it since it is focused in the water. It's left arm is based on a trident, and its right arm is sort of like one of those falcon gloves, like falcon tamer gloves, you know. Um, I'd say this one is based more on physical, like special attack and physical defense. None of these are like true like defense units. None of them in particular have any like real good defense. That are like noteworthy. Alright. We move on to Aerith. Who in my opinion is the strongest out of the four. Um, Aerith's head is more of like a cream. Yeah I know right. That You guys were waiting for that cream. It's more creamy like coating of a head. Um, it's mask isn't too much. Oh. oh. So for, for Hyde's mask. It, it, it looks like a puppetar doesn't it? I think it does. You guys have been in the comments like, no, you're retarded. It doesn't look like that at all. No. <laughs> Woo -hoo. It doesn't look like that at all. 
Aerith does seem to focus more on, uh, well, on the right hand, it looks like it's a hand cannon, and the left hand looks like more it's a sniper rifle. So I'd say it's pure, like, purely physical, like, special attack. But it would be the strongest, you know, because no one here has special defense, and it's also the wind one, you know. Um, alright, so I want to talk about Elementalos, Element, Elementalos later. Like, not in this video, but, like, in a separate video. Why? Because I, because I, I like it. Alright, shut up. Um, these next ones, well, I'm going to do one of these in particular. Um, well, I'll do two. So, the first one is a special Thanos Infinity Gauntlet Equipped Ignititan. And it's by Ghost That Haunts. It's real, it's, I like that. You know, if, if Monsters of Theory ever gets, like, sponsored, boom. Marvel sponsored. Um, so, this first monster is Cosworth Squirtus. It is a water steel. So, the the tip of its nose, and this one, I don't see this being sword. I see this being a giant tooth. I see it being more of a narwhal than a freaking, like, sword. Not, I'm not even trying to diss it, but it's a katana sword. It's, it's a katana sword fish, apparently. I don't, I don't see the katana. I see big, big boy tooth. Tell me, tell me I'm wrong later. Please tell me I'm wrong later on. Just waiting for somebody to be like, A.O. Shadow. I'm like, what? You're wrong. I'm like, ah, damn. Um, and so, but it also has frog arms. Um, it has the ability to control up to five swords with its mind, and, and its swords can cut through any metal, you know, any metal. Um, uh, holy crap, gotta look at the time. I'm gonna have to cut that short. I'm sorry, ghost, uh. I don't know, I'll buy you memes later on. I'll feature your other one in the next video, I guess. Just remind me. Um, yeah, cause this video, we're gonna have to get rid of, uh, what's it called? We're gonna have to get rid of the monster lore for this week as well. Um, I'll have to quickly wrap up on, so next week I'll be doing a video starting next Tuesday on the Gaming Tuesday. Make sure you guys check it out. I'll be doing at least one video every day until uh, probably January 1st. Depending on how long it takes, it might, it might go on afterwards, you know? Who doesn't like free YouTube videos? I mean, like, who likes paid YouTube videos? What the hell? Hey, yo, you want to watch this thing for money? I mean, like, you don't get money, but, like, you get to pay money to watch it. And I won't, I won't guarantee you the quality's any good. Oh, you won't? Oh, what the hell? Get out of my face then. Anyways, yeah, that's for next week. Um, honestly, with all these talks about, like, new skins and things, like, in the Discord, um, I'm trying to get you guys, I'm trying to be able to get the ability to, um, give out codes, because, like, I don't know how many of you guys know this, but, uh, I, I'm not, I don't want to brag here, but I'm the, uh, Oldest current YouTuber rank in the Monsters of Ethereum group. Became a member around July of 2016. Came a long way. Yeah, we only gained like 400 subscribers. But that's like 400 subscribers that like I wasn't expecting to get at all. You know, like holy hell, man. 400 subs is, I'll take 400 subs is 400 subs. I don't hear me complaining. But I, I wanna. I want to try to talk to Poe. He's gonna, he's gonna, end up, if he ends up seeing this, and then I just immediately get shut down when I try to talk to him. I'm gonna be so sad, you know. But I won't be that sad, honestly. Actually, I'll do a video on Monday if I get an answer. And whether that's a yes or a no, I'll talk about my answer. If Poe doesn't want me to talk about it, if it's a yes, I might talk about it. If it's a no, I might talk about it. If I get completely ignored, I'll talk about that. So, by the way, there's a video coming out on Monday. Watch that out, too. So, damn, you guys are lucky. You're getting a video every day, including Monday. 
Good job, you guys. I don't know what's happening. But I'll make sure to uh, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you.